Hi everyone, so today we will learn how to use Nodemon in Node.js. Before I teach you how to use Nodemon with Node.js, it is very important to know why you need Nodemon. You can see I got a very basic application right in front of me and it is a Node.js application. So to run this application, we need to go to terminal. For that, go to view, click on terminal, type here node index.js. So application is running at this address. Simply copy this, go to browser, paste it here, and you can see we are getting hello world. Now let's go to code editor. Here, let's make it hello Peter. Save it, go to browser, let's refresh it. You can see I'm still getting hello world. So changes made in the code are not visible on the browser. For that, we need to restart the server. To stop the node server, you have to press Ctrl plus C on Windows. In case of Mac OS, it should be Command plus C. Now run it again. Node index.js. Go to browser. Now refresh it. You can see now I'm getting hello Peter. So this thing you have to do every time whenever you make changes to your code. And you know, it will be very tedious to restart the server every time with this process. For that, we need a Nodemon package. So let's install it and see how it will actually work. Generally, you will see in the tutorials, people install Nodemon as a global dependency, but I recommend you to install it as a dev dependency. For that, we need to write this command, npm install hyphen capital D Nodemon. Let's open the package.json file and hit enter here. So you can see it has been added to dev dependencies here. To use nodemon, we need to add a script here. So let's add one property that will be watch. And it will run this command nodemon index.js. Now just save it. Now to run this script, which is watch, we need to type npm run watch that's all what you need to do so you can see now the node mon is running now go to index file and type here marks save it so the terminal you can see the server has restarted let's go back to browser refresh it now you can see we are getting marks let's try again now pay a very close attention here the moment when I will make changes and save the code, the server will restart automatically because we are using Nodemon. Now let's make it James. Save it. See. Now go to browser. Reload. Now I'm getting hello James. So to use a Nodemon in a Node.js, you need only two steps. First, install the package like I did. And second, you need to add this script. And to run it, you can simply type npm run watch. You can give it any name of your choice. You can put dev here or anything else, whatever you like. So I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.